Hi YouTube viewers and my dear joint friends. In this video, I am going to tell you about the website header and footer in all HTML pages. How to keep a header and footer in HTML all the pages. So it becomes a very difficult problem when we go to design any develop. Sorry, not design. We to develop any uh, HTML website. So header and footer we have to always we have to write the code and then we have to update it in our new pages. So let us do for this. What we can able to do is we can able to keep a separate HTML pages like header and footer for both header and footer. Whenever we want to write a new HTML page, just we will copy it and paste it. So it becomes easier for us to <coughs> make that uh, not to repeat, write it again and again. Just we have to copy it and paste it. As usual, you can see that I have done my header and footer. Just I am copying my header. And pasting it in the header file, and similarly, I will be doing in footer also. I will be taking this footer and I will be placing it. Our developers write the code very conveniently so that our <coughs> developers can easily understand that which is a header and which is a footer. They write a comment, so it becomes easy for a developer to copy the header. <coughs> so designers are very good. So, if we select a certain designer who is very perfect in this, so it will be very easy for us. So, just I am making my header and footer <coughs> as a separate copies of HTML files. And in my next videos, I will be telling you about how these pages we have to write the pages. So, how to modify the pages, like contact us. Next, I will be telling about contact us uh, and all. So uh, you can see my series of videos on this uh, till I make a website and launch it. So up to there, I will be showing you if each and every part. So this is the thing. And one more thing, I have to change this uh, codes. Once it is changed, then you place it in a website uh, in your header and footer after changing. If you have not changed and if you placed in the header and footer, then it creates a problem for us. Again, we have to write the code. We have to change it. We have to modify it. Okay. For, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Thank you.